Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by today. I always appreciate spending some time with you. Today, we're gonna start off with my first 2019 Bath and Body Works trash talk. I don't have a ton as per usual, but I've got some candles and things that were taking up some space, so it was time to share them with you. First up, I have some candles. I burned through the crushed candy cane candle. I have to say, performance on this was quite lovely. The scent had a really nice strong throw. It burned really seamlessly, no real issues. I feel like the winter candles tend to historically perform better, unlike the fall ones, which are garbage, and then the winter ones restore my faith in Bath and Body Works. Spring can be very hit or miss, and summer is typically good. So this one I was really happy with. I don't think I would need a second one, but if you're happening to be rummaging around the semi-annual sale and you come across this by some miracle at this point in the semi-annual sale, I would definitely pick it up. I think it was a nice performing pepperminty candle. I also have the orange chocolate truffle. As you guys saw, I did grab a second one of these during the semi-annual sale because after I had started burning it, I liked it, and when I saw a surplus of them at a Bath and Body Works store, I thought to myself, this could be indicative of the fact that they're not gonna bring this back next year, and that would make me kinda sad, so I'm gonna definitely wait to burn it next year, but the performance wasn't as seamless on this one as it was on the crushed candy cane, but I really liked the scent of this. If you ever grew up or still have the orange chocolates, it's actually shaped like a little orange, but it's chocolate, this is exactly what that smells like. It has a nice balance of both scents and it reads as really true when you burn it. I also could smell it the whole time. And the thing I love about these candles when they perform correctly is that the scent throw is pretty instantaneous after you light it. Unlike some other candle brands or even with wax melts, there's always like a good 30 minute delay, if not an hour. Hour, not with these like within 10 minutes of it being lit your whole room smells when it's a good candle so definitely recommend this one if you can get your hands on it I'm really happy to have seen some creativity from Bath and Body Works with a scent like this the last candle that I grabbed was a leftover one that I saw on candle day from last year it says dear Santa I just want a unicorn which is basically a fun way of saying peppermint marshmallow I really liked this I felt like the peppermint in here wasn't like super in your face the way crushed candy cane was because it had that really lovely marshmallow note. I just think it was a really nice balance. It was a softer scent, but it was still room filling. I could still smell it in our living room the whole time. Again, the burn wasn't flawless, but definitely went all the way down. And so I can't be upset about that. Got so. two hand soaps. I have the Witch Please Foaming Hand Soap. The scents in here are Creepy Caramel, Wicked Apple, and Bumbling Butterscotch. This was nice. I actually was using it um, with a Santa sleeve over it that they came out with, I don't know, like three or four years ago at this point. And I really enjoyed it. To me, it's not just like a fall scent. It's more of a universal bakery scent. So I was happy with that. I also used winter sangria. This I had gotten last year and didn't manage to use it up during the winter season. So I'd held onto it for this year. I really enjoyed this. I just find that their berry scents can be really hit or miss. Sometimes the ones that come out within the winter to me are too spring smelling. I also really don't like uh, black cherry Merlot. Ugh, that scent is atrocious to me, but people love it. This one had a nice balance of a soft berry, but predominantly like a winter note to it, but it wasn't a spicy winter. So I really like the smell of this. I also personally liked the packaging on here. I thought it was really like clean and not Christmassy. I feel like their winter packaging is normally very Christmassy feeling. And so if you don't use it during Christmas, it's kind of a, it gives to me, it's kind of a weird vibe. So I like the fact that this wasn't that way, but it didn't come back this year. Their hand soaps never repeat except for things like the Witch Please one. So I was bummed about that because I would have definitely had another one of these easily. Then there are two body care items to round this up, both travel size. I have the Beautiful Day 24 Hour Moisture Ultra Shea Body Cream. I was using travel size body creams like this as hand creams and I liked this scent. I actually worked through this as a hand cream on my nightstand relatively quickly. I'll probably actually pull out a full size hand cream and use that for a while and then probably switch over to using it for my body once I get sick of the scent every single night. But happy with this, I wouldn't necessarily go out and buy this scent again, but if it was given to me like this one was, I wouldn't hate using it up. I wouldn't go out of my way to exchange it for something different. I also have the Salted Caramel Apricot Shower Gel with Pure Honey. I have to say, I think this is my second or third one from this line that I used up, and these kind of, to me, all smell the same. I also feel like they are more manly type scents than I would normally prefer. Like, the Caramel Apricot, when I 
would smell it on cold. It has this like sweet caramel scent to it. But then when I would actually put it on my body, these cologne notes really started to come through more than I could smell on cold. Like I feel like I would have loved this scent smelling it on Ben versus myself. So I really enjoyed the texture of it. It was definitely a thicker, creamier type of shower gel, but I wouldn't buy this type of scent again. I think I've got maybe one more in my hoarding closet. Um, and I'm just gonna try to work through it to get done with it because I don't think I really liked this particular collection. All right guys, that is it for me and this particular round of trash talk. As always, I appreciate you guys stopping by and spending some of your day with me and I'll talk to you in my next video real soon. Bye.